What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Life Orb more Peko team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that bigger subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out on this channel. But this team right here was actually made by Spatial. Spatial is another PokeTuber, and somebody sent me this team in and was like, yo, Spatial use this on this channel. Why don't you give it a look, see if you want to try it out? And I, and I looked at it, I was just like, yo, this looks dope. Let's get after it. Let's use it in a video. So all Spatial's social media channel and all that good stuff will be in the description below. So shout out to him. But rocking out on this team, like I said, we got Life Orb, more Peko. This thing's an absolute beast with that hunger switch ability. So it can change from electric to dark type. You guys already know the deal with that. With the Life Orb, Aurora Wheel for stab, Seed Bomb for coverage, Ice Fang for coverage, and Fake Out for that first turn flinch. Then we got Talon Flame over here on the right side. And you guys know I've been loving Talon Flame, especially this moveset on it with that Flare Blitz, Brave Bird, Tailwind, and Taunt, Gale Wings extra belt. Like, bruh. That is just beautiful Pokemon right there. It rocks out in all different instances. Then we got Tessarine or Serena. I forget how to pronounce it. You guys correct me every single time I use this Pokemon. With that Assault Vest, Queenly Majesty, so the other team cannot use first turn priority moves. With Power Whip and High Jump Kick, Triple Axle and Bounce, so we can dodge moves. Over on the right side, we got the boy Rotom Wash, which you haven't really seen a lot of Rotoms ever since Season 6 hit. I don't know why. I don't know if something happened and something just changed it up, but now we got Rotom Wash on the squad back and ready to go with Levitate, Citrus Berry, Hydro Pump, Thunderbolt, Dark Pulse, and Protect Normal Move Set for him. Bottom left corner, we got Togetic over here, and I haven't used Togetic yet. People have been using Togetic because Togekiss has been banned ever since Season 6, but this thing works pretty well as a support mod considering it can hold the Evo Light and it can learn Super Luck as its ability. This thing has Dazzle Gleam, Follow Me, Yawn, and Protect. Then in the final spot, we got the boy. Absolutely love this Pokemon. We got Lucario over here, Fighting in Steel type, Inner Focus, and Focus Sash with Aurora Spear, Flash Cannon, Vacuum Wave, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's try to get some wins on that ranked double ladder. First battle coming at you guys. I feel like I have to match his Tailwind Pokemon with this Talonflame just in case he does lead it. So I am going to go Talonflame. I could see him leading a Moongus maybe too. So I kind of want to get Lucario up in here. But Lucario doesn't do too, too much against a Moongus. I'm talking about Lapras. I mean, my Talonflame could definitely counter up on that Moongus. No problem with a nice big uh, Brave Bird with the Expert Belt. Should be able to take it out fine. But I think like Lucario is nice as a second Pokemon in the slot because he could be leading the Lapras and I can hit it hard. Same thing with that Duraludon. Bro, Lucario could be a beast out here. Definitely want to bring the more Peko. And then in the final spot, do we bring Togetic? I think Togetic could be pretty cool. Yeah, yo, let's get after it. Let's get after it with Togetic. Because we can pu pull him in for a support mod. So I feel like that can work out pretty, pretty strong. But yo, little disclaimer. Little disclaimer on this video. My dog was acting a little weird. Wanted to cuddle a little bit. Wouldn't leave me alone. So she joined me in the room. She's in the background. But you guys probably can't see her. She's on the bed back there. So if you do see her get up and walk out the door, that's my dog. It's just chilling. Well, the door's closed, but so I would have to get up and uh, close it. But she's just chilling here. So <laughs> just just give you guys a heads up in case you guys just see a dog. And then you guys like comment like, yo, you, did you always have a dog? <laughs> like, what's going on here? But yeah, she just wanted to come out and chill because she wouldn't leave me alone. She's kind of scared right now. So I was just like, yo, you can come join me. But this is how we're going to start off. You're going to go the Raladon into Alcreme. I could see the... Uh, very outspeed. That's 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 the real thing. So I actually might taunt you. I actually might taunt you. Do I taunt you? Hmm. I said we just double up into the round on. I said we say yo the round on. Get out here. I could go Aurora Spear. Oh baby. Oh baby. This tech never misses. Or I could go vacuum. But I'd rather go with an Aurora Spear. Do some bigger damage. Over on the round on slot. Let's get after it. What are you going to do, Concert? Dynamax? I knew you were going to Dynamax. I kind of saw that coming. Hopefully we get the burn, even though burn won't do too, too much considering he's special attacking. But yo, I haven't used the Rowdon in a minute, dude. I haven't used the Rowdon in forever. Yep, Dynamax is Rowdon going for. What's that move again? Give him plus two special attack. I totally forget what it is. But people will use it on the Gujar, the Rowdon, and uh, Lapras. They use it all the time. I know what. I know I know exactly what the move is. I just can't think of the name. No, you're going for Baby Dodge. Okay, never mind. You're going crazy, dude. Go ahead, I'm Focus Ash. That's totally cool by me. I'm totally fine with all this play happening here. I'm totally, totally cool with this play happening here. Yo, you can baby die me. We'll go for a nice little Overwatch Spear. Do some nice damage on you. Super effective shot. And you're going to go for a Max Lightning over on my Talon Flame. Hey, leave my Talon Flame alone. Leave my Talon Flame alone. Okay, I'm kind of fine with this. I'm kind of fine with whatever's going on right now. A little more Pekka. More Pekka is pretty fast. You set the electric train for me? No. Thank you so much. That was out my more Pekka. Oh, should have set the tail one. But now nah, I'm fine with going for that flare blitz. And do I get more Pekka win? Or we could just Togetic this one out. 
I said we go Togetic here. We drop an Aurora Spirit. We just follow me this. Hmm. Yeah, let's go follow me. Took up a shot because I feel like we can definitely clutch up. I feel like we could totally clutch up if we can just get rid of the Seraldon and have our Dynamax with our Lucario and our uh, and our more Peko. I feel like we could totally be fine. Hmm. Follow me comes out. Probably goes down to one shot for the next lightning. Actually, maybe not. It's not stab, so we'll see. Let's see what happens here. Baby Doll Eyes coming back out. That's totally fine. But we got support mine over here. Togethi comes in here. And you're gonna drop my attack. That's totally fine. North Spirit comes out. It was KO. KO it. <laughs> oh my lord. Are you serious? Are you serious? He goes for Steel Spike instead. Smart player. here. Uh, get the defense boost. But Togethi does eat up, which is just wonderful. Which is just wonderful. Um, Could vacuum wave it. Uh, I said we vacuum wave into a Dazzling Gleam here. Because just in case... Yeah, let's just go with Dazzling Gleam here. I said we just vacuum wave. Actually, no, I'd rather follow me. Stop lowering my attack. We might protect. So I'll just waste our turns. We'll just go follow me into a vacuum wave. No problem. Make sure this thing goes down. Let's get it. Vacuum Or follow me comes out first. I think we're fine. I think we're sitting here fine right now. I kind of like our positioning here. Vacuum move comes out. Say, see you later, Dorado. Get that thing out the way with Lucario still sitting here. I'm fine with it. We got more Peko in the back end. I can Dynamax him. I'm like this. I'm like this. We go for another Baby Doll Eyes. Because I'll just sit here and keep following me out with my Togetic until it's over. Until it's dead. So, Togetic eats up another turn. Like this. I'm like this. And I can drop a Flash Cannon. Is that what we're rocking out? Or what Steel Move? Whatever Steel Move we're rocking out, I can actually just send it over to that Alcremon if I want to. And the Moongus comes out. Might Rage Powder. Um, do I yawn that thing? I'm gonna yawn on that. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna yawn, try to put that thing to sleep. And I'm just gonna go for a flash cannon over on the after my slot. And get it after that. I do have Ice Fang. I do have Ice Fang on my World Pack now. Flash cannon coming out. Yay! Send it. Boop! Doing some nice damage. Super effective. No drop. Gleam comes out. What's called? Should be able to eat that. Togetic? Togetic, you don't. Bruh. Bruh, I was hoping for that. You're gonna put me to sleep with Spore. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. Oh, dude, electric terrain. Electric terrain coming in clutch. Yo, saving the day. Now we can get out this thing. Um, Flash Cannon will definitely take out our creme. Uh, do I drop an ice? Do I drop an ice onto you? Or do I just fake you out this turn? I said we just fake out Amoongus this turn. And we take out our creme. Then we'll be sitting pretty fine here. Because then I can see his next Pokemon. Our creme does go for the protect. I'm cool with it. I'm totally cool with it. If you're going for a Spore, I'm faking you out. Oh, you're double protecting. You're double protecting. You're crazy, dude. You went crazy with the double protect. Good thing we didn't Dynamax. I'll take that turn all day. I'll take that turn all day. They cannot protect next turn. Um, Flash Cannon will take out uh, Kreme. And then I'm just going to Dynamax and go into... Uh, uh, I'm going to set up the Electric Train. How about I do that? I think that's that's the play. Because if he goes first... I cannot now. You buttery biscuit. You buttery biscuit. I think I had to drop Hailstorm. Hmm. I think I have to drop Hailstorm. I have my best bet. Let's go Hailstorm here. The flash cannon into you. I want to set up the electric terrain again so we can go for it. But we can't get the spore off. And that would have been nice. That would have been a nice play. That would have been a nice play. Because he's probably going for the spore. That's why he protect it. He want to wait out the terrain so he can get it up again. But I'm going to Dynamax more Pekka right here right now. Probably going to spore that thing. I'm probably going to go down. And I think we're sitting pretty good here. I'm not going to lie. Where Pekka rocks out, hits like an absolute truck, but this is not going to be stab damage, and the Moongus is uh, pretty bulky as well. Let's see what happens here. He's going to go for a Rage Powder. Okay. Okay. I see you. So maybe we might be able to take this thing out. Actually, probably not. Actually, Hailstorm comes out first, which I love. Can we take it out with a Hailstorm? I don't think he will. Yeah, no. And the Flash Cannon will not pick up the KO, I don't think. He might be able to take out my Lucario here, which is going to be tough news. Tough news. Up news. Rage Powder comes out here. Flash Cannon comes out as well. I don't think Flash Cannon KOs, right? Does it? Oh, it does, yo. Oh, let's get it. Let's get it. I'll take that all day. Let's go. Flash Cannon picks up the KO. Dazzling Gleam, we should both be able to eat. Actually, no, not Lucario. It comes down to a 2v1 situation. A 2v1, which isn't looking bad for us. Like, this is still doable for your boy. Still doable. We go back to regular more Peko. And it really depends who his last Pokemon is. Man, that Rage Powder actually might have just won the game. Goes to Urshifu. Goes to Urshifu. Okay. Urshifu's probably Sash. That's a real problem. It's a big problem. Do we eat up another? I know we outspeed all day. 
I gotta go after Sarsha for here. I gotta drop some up against the Sarsha. Hopefully, I'll come in maybe protect it. Does not. We're gonna go for his overgrowth. But okay, KO. Uh, this thing is. Eh. No. We should have went for a legend move. We're not gonna be able to win this one. Main! Main! Dang, dude. I feel like we would have had this match if he didn't make that play. Well, Close Thomas is taking us out. Let's game over. Man. But I feel like we would have had that match if we could have taken out that Alcreme or if he didn't go for the, for the Rage Battle. If he didn't protect that Alcreme or go for that Rage Battle, I feel like those two plays really got him the win. But that was a really close match, and we got to show off the scene pretty well. But let's hop into battle number two and try to get ourselves a win. Second battle coming your guys' way. This guy's got Snorlax, Gengar, Sylveon, Dracofish, Obstagoon. Ooh, a little bit of Obstagoon action. And the OP Lapras Pokemon right there. But this guy's a pretty cool team. I feel like I gotta watch out for Sylveon. Sylveon is an absolute beast. And I feel like I definitely gotta set up Tailwind, especially because he has Dracofish and Obstagoon, who are two very, very fast Pokemon. So I'm gonna go Talonflame. Do I rock out with my boy Lucario? Do I rock out with Lucario? I think I might go Luc Lucario. Just work around here. Don't go Lucario. I'm gonna get after uh, more Peko. And we're going Rotom. I feel like I should go Rotom here. I feel like Rotom can be a nice little back end Pokemon. But at the same time, I want to go Tessarine. At the same time, I would love to do that. Considering that would be another physical attacker. I mean, no, we're fine. No, let's go Rotom. I'd rather have another special attacker because more Peko. I always forget. He's actually a physical attacker. Does some work all around. But yo, I have not said this in the beginning of the video. I meant to say in the beginning of the video, but Crown Tundra comes out a week from today, which is insane. So I need you guys help. Just like in Olive Armor, if you guys want to send me teams, DM me teams into my Instagram page at jeans underscore YouTube. It's uh, now is it underscore? I'm trying to think. I'm getting my things. Yeah, underscore YouTube. Link is in the description below to my Instagram page. If you guys are interested in that, I really need teams like Dragonite teams, Garchomp, Metagross, like all new Pokemon teams, and they have a really high chance of me playing them. Like, seriously, it would be awesome, and I wouldn't be able to thank you guys enough. You guys seriously rock out. But, um, do I start with Tailwind, turn one? I feel like I do. I feel like Tailwind is definitely going to help us out in the long run, even though we don't need it right now. Even though we do not need it right now, I'd rather go for a... Uh, Air Blitz? I'd rather double up into this. This thing is rather annoying, so I am going to double up into that. And I am Sash right now, so we are going to double up. He might be able to get off a belly jump, which is actually very scary. Like, he's, he's just posing double threats on me right now. He belly jumps, that's smart. Uh, Flash Cannon should be able to pick up KO. Take on Sylveon, no problem. This thing has definitely got to be, uh... He's definitely got to be belly jumping, which is terrifying. Hopefully he's not. That would be awesome, but he is. He is. Now I'm very, very scared. I'm terrified, man. Leave me alone. <laughs> Dude's coming after me. Okay. Uh, plan here. Try to get a burn? Maybe? Maybe not? Um, very, very scared right now. Um, who's he gonna pull out? Does he have a support mod? Please don't. I don't think he has a support mod who could just follow me out. Um, let's see. But, yeah, he's definitely down to maxing that, so I say we double up into that. I'm gonna go Gengar. Is he gonna ally switch? That's a tough one. That really is tough. Is he going to ally switch? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. You're a softy and you're not gonna do it. He's gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I know. Please don't do it. Please don't do it. Watch. I'm calling it now. He's gonna do it, but. Usually I second guess myself. Uh, usually I'm like, okay, he's gonna ally switch or he's not gonna. Like, usually I just second guess myself. So I'm going with the easy, smart play. Because most of the time the easy plays do work out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm very intrigued to see what's gonna happen. Obviously the Dynamax coming out. He's Billy Jones. He's plus six. But usually I'll just go straight for the ally switch. I'll make that call right away. But like, he's going for the ally switch. But today I'm gonna slow it down. Watch. And today I'm gonna make the wrong call. Oh, thank God. Thank God I'm playing the right play. Give me the burn. Give me the burn. Give it to me. Give me the burn. Force is very okay. It's fine. War Spirit is going to come out here. We still have our Sash, which is absolutely worth Which is just dandy candy. You're going to go for a Shadow Ball. Go on my Town Flame, please. Mm, love you. I love you, Gengar. I love you, Gengar. That's fine. Totally fine. That's totally fine. Let's hit this thing with a War Spear. Bang. Big old damage. Okay. We're sitting here now. And here comes the- If you get a berry! If you get a berry, I'm gonna cry. No berry so far. Please, no berry. Oh, no berry. No berry. Um, does more Peko outspeed? 
I'm gonna say more Pekka might be able to outspeed. I definitely gotta go for a vacuum move. I definitely gotta go for a vacuum move, try to do as much damage as I can over onto that thing. Because he's gonna shadow ball and try to kill me. So I'm gonna go for a vacuum wave. Try to just get after this thing and double up into it. Just try to KO it. That's the plan. Well, Pekko's getting the Dynamax. We'll set our own terrain. We'll set our little electric terrain. But I'm this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking he's going for a shadow ball. Because he's no he knows Gengar outspeeds Lucario and trying to take out Lucario. I think that's his call. And then he's sliding over his attack with Snorlax. So if we can waste that shadow ball over here, we're fine. We're fine. We can just get the Shadow Ball over here, keep my Morpeko alive, take out the Snorlax. Bruh. Bruh, that's looking pretty good for us. Let's see what happens. He's guarding. He's guarding! What a play. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to the boy. And what's this thing going for? A uh, Shadow Ball. Hmm. Tough news, man. Tough break. Does Morpeko change? Will he change just because of the turn? I would be kind of mad at it, but at the same time, I wouldn't. Max Lightning comes out. Blah. And man, dude, he's making a big reads, dude. Making a big reads. All right, Rotom, get out here. Get out here, Rotom. Oh, got this, bro. Got this. Okay. All right, let's get him more pecs. Get him more pecs. Definitely gotta go for darkness. I wanna send it. I gotta, I gotta take out the swan. The fact. I'm just gonna double up like this. We're just going to double up like this. I'm terrified. He's gonna drop a shadow ball on me. Will Lewis comes out. Of course, this thing's rocking Will Lewis. Of course. Of course, he's rocking Will Lewis. Of course. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it? Can we take this thing out, though? I don't think so. Nope. Will Lewis definitely, definitely helping him out a lot. Um, but my, uh, my Rotom should be able to pick up the guy over here, which is awesome. Thank you, Rotom. Burn is doing work. Burn is gonna do work on me. Only downside to be. What you mean? What you mean we don't KO? What you mean? How did we pick up that KO? And he finds a berry? What is this game? Bro, bro, I can you cannot make these things up. I even had a special attack drop on him too. And we still don't pick up the KO on that thing. <sighs> bro, this game, this game is acting up. It's acting up today. And you guys know it. it's acting up. It is acting up. Even though that burn basically did win in the game, I feel like we would have been fine if that Snorlax is dead. If that Snorlax is dead, we're chilling. That's a fact. That's a fact. I'm going to just run this battle. We're going to start off 0 and 2, but yo, we're getting that win in that next battle. I cannot go 0 and 3. That's just not me. That's just not me. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and yo, we are not going 0 and 3. That's just not me. Let's get it. That rhyme, that rhyme, that was pretty dope, but <laughs> let's get it. This guy is called Fable Scissor. Ooh, ooh, the Raladon and Gengar. Scary low combo. Terrakion as well. And Storm Drain Gastron. So, uh, real time, I think you're going to sit out this one. I don't really think he is going to bring Storm Drain Gastron. I just don't think that's going to be a, a possibility. But it's still an option. It's still definitely an option. Uh, Kind of want to go Lucario for the lead. Kind of want to go Lucario Townflame. I feel like our speed is just fine. I feel like our Pokemon are pretty fast. Does he have any first turn priority Pokemon moves? Hmm, we could go Tesserine for that Scissor. For that scissor, that could be pretty nice. That could be pretty nice because that, that could take a full punch. I could take a, a lot of different. I and mean, who do I really think is going to lead? The Raladon and maybe Copeco. Hmm. I think it was the Raladon Copeco. I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring Tesserine or Serena up in here. I feel like that's a good call. Can take out the scissor fine, considering he has full punch and all that good stuff. So I can get rid of that. Because he can't use it if I have Queenly Majesty onto the field. Alright, let's see what let's see let's see who he leads. Because I don't really know who he's gonna lead. I'm, if I had to guess, it's probably gonna be the route on the Kopeto combo. So Gastron and Terrakia. Okay. I'm cool with it. I'm fine with that. Gotta watch out for the Rock Sun. Rock Swizzle might be dropping in. Um, okay. Do I swap? Do I swap my town flame? Definitely go for an Aurora Spear, drop it off on you. Uh, do I go for a Tailwind? I think we just set up a Tailwind and we get rocking out. That might be the play. Is, does Gastron learn beat up? Hold up. Does Gastron learn beat up? That is my real question. I know Terrakion is really fast, so I gotta get off, off this Tailwind. Okay, so cool. I guess this thing doesn't learn beat up. Might just be going for like a Scald or something. Let's see what happens here. Aurora Spear comes out. Uh, you doing some damage onto it. Take it out. Take it out. No, we don't take it out. We do have vacuum move, so once we survive here, is that policy? Okay, it is policy. 
It is definitely dropping a rock slide. Get him taking out my down flame. Let's see. Secret sword. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We're sashing up. There's no way you're going for a double hitting move. No way you're going for a double hitting move. Then I can vacuum me. And we should be chilling. Skull comes out. I think my talent flame should be able to eat this up. It does. It does. Let's go. Don't you dare show me your burn. Thank you. The Lord. Okay, so vacuum move coming out. The Seracan protect. I have to post the threat onto it. Then I'm going to drop a Brave Bird over onto him. He's going to protect. He's going to pick up the double kill, which is tough news. He does not. Okay, yo. I, I love you. I love you. Thank you so much. Does not go for the protect and does not pick up the double kill. Thank you. Thank you very much. Brave Bird comes out. Oh, he's gonna pick up the double kill now. Let's watch. We're gonna go down here with my recoil damage, and then hopefully he misses something along those lines. That'd be fine. But Town Flame, I mean not Town Flame. Uh, Terrakion is definitely a good Pokemon to get out of the way. Definitely a very strong Pokemon to get out of the way. And then we have Tessarine coming in with Stab, Power Whip, which can do work on the Gastron. And my more Pekka, who we are going to Dynamax here. Place it on left. I don't get why it says place on left, place on the right. Like, does it really matter? Or is it just like. Is, is there like a strategy to that? Like, placing Pokemon in certain ways, like messing people's head? I don't know. But let's get this out. You gotta protect, right? You gotta protect. That's gotta be a thing. You gotta 100% protect. I'm still gonna throw a Power Whip onto that slot, and I am going to Dynamax here and drop a Lightning over onto you. Let's get after that and get rolling. I could fake out, but I'm not. And I'm not gonna fake out. I'm just gonna drop that, and then I'm definitely going to drop a power whip onto you. I think we might see a double diamond. Let's see what happens here. We got the speed advantage, 100%. We have speed all day. So how many turns are left in tailing? Two now? Two, and that, that, that can work one. Because one power whip should be able to take out the gas on. No problem. No problemo. No, no, no problemo. Hey, 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 hey. Get it, more Pekka. We Dynamaxing you again. Third time's the charm, baby. Get after it. And he's not Dynamaxing. Lightning's popping off here. Take that all day. This thing's gotta be Sash, right? It is Sash. Oh, kinda saw that coming. Kinda saw that coming. Power Up should be able to come out here. And hopefully take out the guy, Sean. Hopefully. I think it might. Let's see. Let's see how we roll. Let's see how, let's see how we roll. Power up misses, bro! Misses! Why? Why is it missing? I don't understand! And you get a poison! Guys, I don't I don't know what to tell you guys. Like I don't I don't really know what to tell you guys. I seriously have no idea what to tell you guys. I'm trying out here. I am trying my best. I I don't know. I don't know. We have to run that one and we go 0 and 3. That is nuts. That is crazy. But we get bad luck today. We get bad luck and we end up losing them all. That is crazy. Awesome team right here. I had a blast playing it. I feel like we had a lot of bad luck today. I don't know why. It's just one of those days. We missed our power whip at the end. He got the poison as well. And then in the first two matches, like I said, we played really, really well. But just things didn't work out our way. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.